All right, coming up, too many women obsess about their weight and body image, and sometimes that obsession can turn into an eating disorder. We'll talk about the warning signs to watch for and how to get help. If you or someone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, New Hope is here. It's not a new approach. It's called the Maudsley approach, but they have been seeing some amazing research from some of the results. It integrates the family as a key part of healing. Therapist and recovered anorexic Jennifer Lombardi is here, and you're in town for a conference where professionals are getting together, sharing ideas about how to really even take this healing to the next level. That's correct. It's a, it's a wonderful one-day conference that's here in San Diego, and it's, it's interesting because as a recovered person, when I see this research, I of course wonder where was it all those years ago when I was struggling. And so it's, it's incredibly important that families know that there are new treatment methods that are available that actually require that they be more involved. And you know, 15 or 20 years ago, we would vilify families, and fortunately we've come a long way. Everything that I hear and all the research that has been passed around, it talks about it being a family disease. It, the, one person can act out in the family system, but it's really something that everyone unconsciously perhaps plays a part in. Well, you know, the way I, I, I explain it to family members and to patients is, you know, the reason why a person develops an eating disorder really boils down to five things. One, there's usually a history of anxiety or depression. There are also certain personality traits, such as being people-pleasing or perfectionistic, and then trauma or loss, family dynamics, and certainly our culture. And so the family really plays an important role in helping their loved one recover, but the underlying causes we now know are very much biologically based, and so that that's why you can line up 15 teenage girls, they all start dieting, but only two or three of them will actually develop an eating disorder. You're really big on research because you say that research is really the key to expanding on the recovery process. Correct, correct. And the outcomes specifically to the Maudsley method are extremely promising. Uh, they, they after, you know, in terms of five-year studies afterwards, patients are still recovered, up to 75 or 80 percent of them. And so that's extremely promising it for is. people who are struggling. Very, very encouraging. We have a full screen graphic we're going to pop up because one thing that you really have been very conscious of is that as you went through that healing process, that when people may ask how you're doing, it, it can get to be kind of a touchy area. Sure, and I definitely think I get this question a lot. I mean, as a mom now, um, you know, and working with families, they always want to know, what should I not do? And I think that this is good information for across the board, whether or not it's somebody that you know that has an eating disorder in your family or not, but to really focus on complimenting the person, not paying specific attention to their body parts, um, and certainly not speaking disparagingly about your own body. Um, and it, when it comes to activity, uh, with kids, I think it's important for, to help them focus on things that they love to do rather than being so driven to succeed or excel in a particular sport. Um, and I think we've, we've sort of gotten away from that as a culture. The Maudsley approach really deals with the 13 to 17 year age frame. Correct. And we talk a lot about women, but it does affect adolescent men as well. Absolutely, and certainly in our treatment center uh, where I work, it, I am assessing kids younger and younger, um, adolescent boys, the youngest child I've ever assessed is seven, and the oldest person is 67. So every age bracket, um, every culture, every socioeconomic background, men and women, um, really these, these diseases are no longer seen as you know affecting only young uh, teenage girls. Jennifer, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you for continuing to talk about this. Thanks for sharing your wonderful journey and your uh, reaching success to the other side. Thanks so much for having really me. Really a source of inspiration. Thank you. More information, of course, log on to sandiego6.com. And coming up next, how to ace a job.